What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we've got May 2023's Hunt Vault Elite subscription box here. It is a little bit earlier than normal. Uh, we got an email a couple of days ago, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, saying that they are moving into a new warehouse and they were going to be going ahead and shipping out May's box so it give them time to get moved in, settled in. Supposed to be some good stuff in here, so let's see what we got. So you guys will have to pardon my appearance. Uh, last couple days have been pretty rough. My daughter has had spinal surgery. And uh, so she's been in the hospital since Wednesday. Uh, today is Friday. And um, so she's not going to be getting out for another two, maybe three days. So I've come home long enough to do some laundry. See what's in the hot box box while laundry's running. So if you got it in you, please say a prayer for my daughter. She can use it. So first thing you're gonna see when you open the box is gonna be a card with all of the brands shown on the front and a list of each item with a description and a price for each one. So what we're gonna do is start at our cheapest item, work our way up to our most expensive item and see if this box was worth our 150 bucks. All right, so first on our list is going to be Birchwood Casey Easy Score Whitetail Deer Targets. So these things are huge. They're 23 inches by 35 inches, uh, which is pretty cool because I've got a target that is 48 inches by 48 inches. And uh, so when you are practicing with your bow, this is kind of like the second best thing to a 3D target. Um, it gives you something better to look at than a dot. And to me, you know, that really works out pretty good when you're shooting out longer distances like uh, 50, 60, 70 yards. Uh, pretty cool to shoot at a life-size target. So they have got our targets listed for $4. Next on our list is going to be Hunter Specialty Cineway Max Lip Balm. So we have got a two pack of chapstick, unscented or odorless as they call it. I've got a tube of chapstick that I've had for about three years uh, that is a uh, vanilla scent and it is the only thing that I've been able to use that I feel like is not going to run deer off. So. I will definitely get some use out of that. Let's see what they say here. Finding a way to soothe chapped lips while maintaining scent control has been a challenge for serious hunters. Cineway Max Lip Balm's natural beeswax formula won't draw the attention of game animals. This lip balm provides soothing comfort for chapped lips and features SPF 30 sunscreen protection. So I'll definitely be using that. They've got our lip balm listed for $5, and that's going to bring us to $9 so far. All right, so next up, we've got Hunter Specialty Box Call Chalk. That is definitely not Hunter Specialties, but it is Flex Tone. So you've got five pieces of chalk here in what looks like one of the uh, mouth call boxes. So you can easily put it in your vest. You got five pieces there. You definitely don't want to be caught in the turkey woods without box chalk. Uh, that thing starts sounding nasty, you're gonna be up Crap Creek. See what they say here on the box. Conditioning is essential if you want clear, authentic sounds, and chalk is the easiest, quickest way to perfectly condition box call. This five pack includes waterproof carry case that keeps chalk dry and ready to go, regardless of field elements. Always keep one in your pack for dependable friction and lifelike calls every time. It's got some conditioning tips on there. I'm not real sure how waterproof this box is, but uh, I would say maybe water resistant, but there's not really a seal on there. It's literally like a uh, mouth call case. But anyway, I will definitely be putting that in my turkey vest or at least my hunting box. So they've got our box called chalk listed for $5 and that's going to put us at $14 so far. 
All right, so we've got a custom hunt vault thermos seat. That's pretty cool. Hunt vault is always going out of their way to get, uh, you know, do this collaboration stuff. Uh, these thermos seats are awesome. You know, if you ever hunt in a blind, which I rarely do anymore. Sometimes if it's raining, I will sit in a blind in, uh, during turkey season. But um, these things are pretty crazy. Uh, they will keep your butt warm and comfortable. Uh, this thing's about uh, two inches thick and uh, it's got a strap on the back so you can you know, hook it to uh, whatever. But you can also, you know, if you saddle hunt, you can take this up with you and you can strap it around the tree and you can put your knees up against it. That way you're not having to wear knee pads or, you know, something like that. So those things are awesome. It says the original thermos seat is a must have for anyone who sits outdoors. Produced with soft tech closed cell foam, the seat won't absorb moisture and stays pliable in cold weather so you're warm and comfortable in all conditions. Perfect for sitting on wet ground, tree stumps, and metal seats. So they've got our thermos seat listed for $20 and that puts us at $34 so far. All right, so next up, we've got two items that I'm gonna do together. Uh, it is Fisker's Brush Axe and Fisker's Power Tooth Soft Grip D-Handle Saw. All right, so, pretty beefy tool there. I've never gotten anything Fiskars that was not, uh, you know, hair popping sharp. So, so now that we're safe again, let's open this bad boy up. So the brush axe hooked blade there. So this thing is very beefy. Handle feels pretty good. And, uh, oh yeah, that would definitely do some damage on some brush. The uh, pruning saw here is a 15 inch blade, has power tooth, razor sharp, triple ground teeth. Nice rubberized handle right there. So especially this time of year, turkey season's wrapping up and any serious whitetail hunter is going to jump straight into whitetail which means you're going to be out there cutting shooting lanes, uh, clearing spots for stands, clearing walking paths, uh, you name it. So these both will definitely do some damage. Neither of these I would even consider putting in a pack to carry me, carry with me when I'm hunting. They are definitely too big for that. But for uh, you know early scouting uh, in the springtime, late spring, early summer, uh, these would definitely be good for, uh, you know, whitetail preparation. So let's see what they say about them. The Fiskars Power Tooth Soft Grip D-Handle Saw. A razor sharp triple ground power tooth saw blade cuts through wood on the pull and push stroke to help you cut through large branches with speed and efficiency. And the fully hardened steel blade stays sharper longer than others. The D-Handle design with soft grip provides excellent comfort and control. And they have got our pruning saw listed for $30. So that's going to put us at $64 so far. And for the bush axe, it says features a precision ground nine inch steel blade with a rust resistant low friction coating to rip through underbrush and wood with speed and ease. The tough Duraframe handle is lightweight for easy handling, but is still strong and durable. The insert molded design means the blade won't loosen or separate from the handle. So they've got our brush axe listed for $35 and that's gonna put us at $99 so far. So you know what time it is. It's our featured item of the month. Pretty ecstatic about this. Been waiting on this for several months now. Glad it's finally here. This is the Badlands Mud Eastern Day Pack. So love this color. 
Yeah, I definitely love this color. Let's go ahead and take this off and read some of the features. Designed for living, built to last. Cordura. All right, so here is a list of the features. Badlands KXO32 fabric. Bar tacking on stress points. Hydration compatible up to three liter. Air mesh suspension. C6 DWR, not real sure what that is. Multiple rear compression straps. A little bit about the warranty there. Think of the tough, lightweight Eastern Day Pack like a toolbox. Why have your tools scattered everywhere when this will neatly carry all of your essentials, including a three liter hydration bladder? It's even compact enough to hang by your tree stand for easy access. So until someone makes pants with 1,040 cubic inches of cargo pocket space, hunt with the Eastern Day Pack. Unconditional lifetime warranty, no questions asked. We don't care what happened or whose fault it was, we'll fix it free forever. That is invaluable. So, probably sounds really loud on camera, but that is uh, fairly quiet. The front pocket right there that goes all the way down to here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six compression straps. You got two pretty deep mesh pockets on the side there. Let's see what she opens up like. Pretty basic on the inside. It's got a hydration bladder uh, pocket right there in the back with two clips to clip it up, but there is no additional pockets on the inside. So you've got your choice of flow direction for your um, bladder there. You got a chest strap on your shoulder straps there with uh, you know two loops right there to continue to fasten down your uh, hydration hose. Obviously you've got adjustable shoulder straps and the shoulder straps are padded pretty good with this mesh on the back. And on the back there, it is pretty thickly padded, like an, I don't know, probably half inch thick and completely covered in mesh. So if you sweat, it'll dry pretty quickly. So that's awesome. Love that color, man. So let's see what they say about it. The Badlands Eastern Day Pack is a well-designed bag set up to carry your gear from point A to Z with no hassle and maximum comfort. Perfect for hauling the essentials, yet small enough to hang from a tree stand. This pack features four pockets to hold a day's worth of gear and is hydration reservoir compatible. So what I'll probably wind up doing, I really don't have time to do it today. Um, I've got to hurry up and get back out of here. But um, I will probably do a full review on this. I will load it up with some stuff and uh, you know see how it works out and um, let you guys know how that works. So, so they've got our Badlands Mud Eastern Day Pack listed for $130. So that's going to put us at $229 this month. All right, so this is gonna be a wrap on May 2023's box. And to me, this was a pretty daggum good score. You guys stay tuned. I'm still gonna do that uh, Hunt Vault subscription, good, bad, and ugly video. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it with all that we've had going on. But uh, hopefully within the next week, I should be able to get to that. And uh, if you guys aren't already subscribed, head on over to HuntVault.com, check them out. Uh, make sure you check out their Facebook page. They're always running promotions for new subscribers. It's 150 bucks a month for an annual subscription or 160 bucks a month for a month to month subscription. Head on over, check them out. I don't think you guys will be disappointed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Rob's Man Cave.